The Navigator 1 series. The first in the Navigator series of aircraft that I've created this weekend. Built to go the distance, land, mine ore, convert that ore over to fuel, and then continue on its flight with a high-end top speed, a little over 200 meters per second, and a burn time of a bit over four hours. This aircraft was able to reach the poles with minimal landing. It did take a few landings. Unfortunately, that was about, um, it was, it took about two, three landings in order to do that, but with, with being a bit conservative on the fuel usage. But this was only the beginning. This was only the beginning. The Navigator 2. This aircraft was actually built to not have to worry about refueling. As you can see, it has an 18 hour burn time. But the top end speed on it was very low. That being said, it, uh, it will reach the poles. It will reach almost any location on Kerbin. But the problem is, with its slow speed, it tends to be quite a bore. So let's jump over to the next Navigator. Navigator 3. This one was built for a bit more speed. Now, as you can see here, it has two massive drills on it. Now, this was because Navigator 1 had a really big problem with drilling. It was slow to drill, and it would often take a, 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 few, a day or so to get the, everything refueled. That was a bit extreme. So, this one was built to carry a lot of fuel and a two ginormous drills. Unfortunately, it was also slow and not very maneuverable and it it had a lot of problem with the wheels blowing up so still we did not get past the four hour flight time so this went right back to the drawing board but i do love the biplane design now we're coming up on some of the more experimental and also extremely well flying larger of the navigator series here we have the large navigator 4 and you can see this one is also this one is powered by these bare turbo props and this aircraft is able to go over 200 meters per second it actually caps out around 250 meters per second allowing it to fly faster and farther than the previous navigator series aircraft it is held together with a lot of space tape which everybody should know by now is struts it struts space tape struts okay okay continuing on but you may be wondering where are the drills well if you're looking for the drills you just have to open this up and you see stored away in the cargo bay is the drills and the convertotrons so it's able to land mine ore with a nice size drill at a good rate and then retract convert and get back to flying now in the tests it actually has not needed to land when going to either of the poles. It can actually make it to the poles and back on a single tank. So, where does this leave us? Well, I never do just four, do I? With as ugly as Navigator 4 was, we had to do better. This is where Navigator 5 comes in. The beauty and the majesty along with the technology behind Navigator 4 has allowed us to create a long flying recharging system that can circumnavigate any planet with an atmosphere. So let's go ahead and open up our bay. You can see we actually do have our ore here and we have two convertotrons and our mining excavator, all with nice separation. A nice size large holding tank situated in the, the lift of the wings and this craft is not just stable but it's awesome looking this is the one we're gonna take out for a quick flight and show you how well this aircraft will fly let's go this one is damn fun 
What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwan. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program, and this is the Navigator 5. This big, beautiful Navigator 5 that I have devised for this, uh, for a lot of my new, newer circumnavigation and polar flights. So, what you see here is a large cargo bay. In this large cargo bay, you will see two convertotrons and also a nice size drillomatic stored in here with a large holding tank. Let's go ahead and close that up. And also, there is a ton, a ton of batteries up here. That's right, we have battery power for days. <laughs> battery power for days. We are looking at 6,100 units of power. So let's go ahead and get this bird into the air. Powered by the bear. The bear props, these have a lot of power for their size and they are quite fantastic. These uh, KO bear turbo props, and you can see they have, uh, once they kick in, we are going to get them off the ground. Only problem with this aircraft is uh, these wheels are pretty much, I had to use the large wheels. And the large wheels right now are pretty terrible. <laughs> they are pretty terrible for the PC. And uh, you see here we also have a bunch of solar panels so that way we can keep everything charged uh, and created here. We have a bit of camber on our wheels to hold her steady and this little landing box here. So what we're going to do, the landing box just lets me put the wheels on. Alright, so let's get this bird into the air and hopefully... Hopefully the wheels won't screw us over. <laughs> what happens is they have almost no traction no matter what I've done to them. And with them having no traction, it's really hard to deal with them. As you can see right here, right off the back, they start to flail all over the place. And that is a problem when you are trying to lift off. All right, we are off the ground there. We're not gonna let that hold us down. And we're going to do a flyover on our our craft over here. It it's 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 a boat. It's a giant naval boat. <laughs> I just want to fly over it to see how well we can do here. Balthazar one coming into frame. You can see this aircraft is no slouch. When it comes to navigation, you don't want to be going too slow because if you're going really slow, you're going to have a really boring time when you're doing it. And here's Balthazar coming by. Whoosh! <laughs> oh no! Balthazar, you blew up! They blew it up! <laughs> It could not handle the awesomeness of Navigator 5. That's what it was. <laughs> now, this craft is extremely maneuverable, extremely reinforced for sharp maneuvers. And this has been, like, all my research I've done this weekend. And has gone into finding a way to stabilize this aircraft, make it into a viable platform. So that way, when I am flying from one pole to another pole, or flying from one mass to another, uh, that it won't fall apart, be affected in any way, form, or fashion. It can hold a pretty good vertical speed. So it is a craft that has proven to be extremely viable in flight. And so far, is very, very impressive. Uh, the mods that it uses, I don't believe there's very many mods it uses, to tell you the truth. I think almost everything on here is almost all stock. Uh, I think the, the, the bear, correct me if I'm wrong, the bear, I believe, is from SXT. Uh, I believe. I want to say it is. And there's Fire Spitter, of course. Uh, so I think between S SXT and Fire Spitter, that meat might be the majority of the mods that is being used for this one. If you don't have those already, you should probably have them. You can see this craft is is a little slower than the version 4, but god is it more stable. It is infinitely more stable than version 4. Uh... Oh... <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I waited a little longer. 
Hey, there you go. So this aircraft is is totally it flies like a giant fighter. That's exactly what it feels like. And with a seven hour flight time, seven hour flight time, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I know there's a lot of craft out there that now you can do for it with a seven hour flight time, but oh man. With these two props, it sounds beautiful. You hear that beautiful every time is oh, oh. okay, it's a day with men with men. Uh, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> but with this navigator series give you a nice little shot here with the navigator series we are, have been able to adventure to places that we would have not thought possible before uh, this is awesome like I said I have had crafts that can fly for 24 hours and no problem but at the same time they weren't able to refuel themselves uh, I've had an electric craft that doesn't need to refuel itself. That felt a little cheaty. <laughs> and then there's this one, which still outmaneuvers all of them. Because this one, it, I swear this thing flies well enough to be in the, in the combat competitions. Which hopefully, if I can get some, some tests in with BD Armory, we may be able to get restarted here soon. Uh, for those in the PS4, Xbox range, uh, the, the competitions pretty much are we build an aircraft and let the BD Armory AI duke it out. We let them fight and see which one comes out the winner. It's a lot of fun. But anyhow, this aircraft, oh man, look at that beautiful aircraft, <laughs> has proven to be one of my favorite and just most agile of these large crafts that I have made. And I mean, look at that turn. That is re dang ridiculous. That is re dang ridiculous. That was beautiful. All right, let's give it a little shot going this way. And boom! That's a screenshot for days right there. All right, well. That's good for me. I'm going to go and land this bird. But definitely, if you like what you're seeing, or if you want the craft, if you want to analyze the craft and, and use it for your own designs, or take it out for a flight to different places, let me know. I can definitely post it somewhere like Kerbal X. Uh, and from there, we can uh, let me send me some pictures of the things you've done. Uh, it, it does not have any ScanSat tech on there, so it can't really detect any uh, like been there type stuff that you get with ScanSat, which is easy enough to put on there, and it won't throw any of the weight off on this aircraft. And this one is definitely ready to go the distance. It's going for speed, <laughs> and that's all I'm thinking of that. All right, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you see, hit that like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next video. For now, it's your boy Jatois, and I'm staying inside because it is hot, hot outside. It is hot. It's ridiculous. It is like, it's like balls in, in woolen sweatpants sitting on a heater while sitting on the sun while sitting on a solar cell hot. You don't want to go out there. It's, <laughs> I don't. I don't think you want to calculate the heat that that would be. But for now, I'm out of here. This has been your boy, Jatuan. I'm out. Peace. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 dear. I should have let that go. Okay, we, I have control. I have control. Oh, no. Oh, that's the wrong button. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs>